machine guns in the shadow of Cuba's capital sent bullets into the street crowds when President Machado answered the first demands that he resign with a hail of lead. The police were reinforced by troops as Havana was put under martial law. 20 citizens were killed and 160 wounded before the police dispersed the crowds and filled the streets with armed patrols. Machado's known foes were rounded up in an attempt to end disorder. Up to the present uprising, Machado, secure in the National Palace and backed by the army, has ruthlessly suppressed all attempts to oust him. Here you see him greeting officers who vowed loyalty to him during the unrest. Following the recent bloodshed in the streets, the thoroughfares resembled those of a deserted city. While there was no visible sign of danger, machine guns commanded all approaches to the capital and National Palace, and the terrified populace stayed indoors. For months, Machado feared attempts on his life whenever he ventured abroad. And here you see him leaving the capital, surrounded by a human wall of guards, losing himself in their midst and ready to dart into the armored cars awaiting him, a president threatened by his own people. <laughs>